Oh. Good morning, Mikey. What's up? I just woke up. Oh, hey, JJ. I'm fine. I just woke up, too. Let's go to the first floor. Maybe our family has something interesting for us. Ooh. Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's go. And I see my family. Hi, Mikey's family. Hi, my wife and my baby. Look at him. He's so cute. I get a big smile out of him every time. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, wow, and you cooked our food so well. Thank you so much for your hard work. We appreciate it every second. Absolutely blown away by the incredible meal you prepared. Your dedication and talent shine through in every bite. Thank you immensely for all your hard work and attention to detail. And by the way, JJ, I think we got a call, don't you? Who could it be? Can you get the turbo up? Uh, I don't know. Who could be calling us? Unless it's that nerd. I'll try to pick it up now. Uh, hi, who's this? Oh, I finally waited for you, JJ, and the Mikey family. I've been waiting for you to pick up the phone for a long time. JJ, it looks really scary, and I think he's really here. Oh, where am I? I just woke up, and something feels off. Mikey's missing. Oh no, my Mikey's been stolen. I frantically search every corner of the house, calling out his name. He's not here. What am I gonna do now? Desperation grips me. I need help. I should go to the police. But who, or what, could have taken him? Those strange creatures we've heard about come to mind. I'm really curious and scared to find out. Grabbing my keys, I rush to the police station, determined to find Mikey and bring him back home. Without wasting another moment, I head to the police station. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go to the police. So let's hurry. I gotta save Mikey soon. So let's go to the police. We'll look for Mikey. Here we are at the police station. Let's go in. Good morning, policeman. I have news for you. What's the news? We were watching the news on TV this morning, and they showed an unknown creature. And then this unknown creature that inspired fear broke into our house out of nowhere and kidnapped Mikey. Please help in any way you can. Ooh. A difficult situation, let me then give you two cameras, install them in the city and see if there is anything suspicious. Good cop! I'll install them today and let you know the news tomorrow. Okay, then good luck to you. Simple, right? But then reality hits. I have no clue where to put it. The pressure's on. The safety of the area might just depend on my decision. So, there I am, strolling around, scanning every nook and cranny for the perfect spot. Should it be tucked away? I've got a plan to put a camera on it so it can see everything, so we'll put the camera in a tree. That's it! And if the creature drives by my house or any house, we'll know instantly. So we'll see you next day. Good morning, everyone. One day has passed. Now let's look at the cameras we have there. It's such a pity that Mikey isn't here. It's kind of boring without him. So okay, let's go down and look at our materials. It seems like nothing suspicious happened on the street. Mmm... Strange? Oh, here he comes! Did you immediately see with one camera what he was doing? It's just worth it! But no, there he is gradually walking towards this house. The main thing is that its resident does not come out to him, please. Otherwise, he will eat you. No, resident, please don't come out. He will eat you. No! Mr. Resident, eh, now it will be difficult without him. So where will he go next? I hope not to my house, please. He stands again and thinks, after this, I wonder how it will be possible to find his house. Oh no, he's almost at my house. Please, the unknown creature should not come near my house. Wait, if he had gone now, then I wouldn't be here now. Phew, he changed his mind. That gives me peace of mind. So now what will he do? We will need to stop him before he does anything terrible in our city. And no, he's heading towards my house. Oh no, not again. Please, not in our house. He tried to look in our house again. He must have been looking for me. I'm so scared now. So guys, I've seen everything I need to see on camera, and I think that's enough. Now I guess my mission is to save Mikey. Let's get to it. First, I have some invisible armor on the second floor. Let's put it on. You can see me, but other people won't see me most likely. So let's go outside. I've got this invisible armor stashed away on the second floor. It's like my secret weapon, a cloak of invisibility. You can see me just fine, but to anyone else, I might as well be a ghost. Well, 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 what do we have here? A trail of ketchup snaking its way along the ground. Now, ordinarily, I'd be questioning how ketchup ended up outside, but in this case, I'm thinking it's more than just a condiment mishap. No, this feels like a clue, a breadcrumb leading straight to Mikey's robber. So, without hesitation, 
I'm following this ketchup trail like a detective hot on the heels of a suspect. Each splatter and smear tells a story, guiding me closer to my goal. Mikey's out there somewhere, and wherever this ketchup leads, I'm sure to find him. Here I am at his house. The main task now is to quickly get into his house and find Mikey there and get him out. I hope we can do it. Let's make our way so quietly. If he sees me, he will put me here too. It's so dark and scary here. Hooray, Mikey, I see you. Hello, I was so worried about you. We're leaving now. Whew, I'm glad you found me, JJ. Now we'll go home, JJ. This creature locked me here and I don't eat or drink anything here. Yes, now we need to get out of here without him noticing JJ. He's very sensitive. So now let's leave quickly because I have a feeling that he's going to wake up right now. Yeah, I have the same feeling. So let's get to the exit. Finally to freedom for you. Oh no, Mikey, I have bad news for you. He woke up. Now run quickly, AA. Run. What are we going to do now, JJ? Will he catch up with us? Or where are we running anyway? I don't know. But it seems that we will go to the house, because he still has nowhere to escape. I have weapons in the chest at home. And with the help of these weapons, we will finally get rid of him, Mikey. We are almost at Mikey's house. We just need to run a little, and we are already in the house. Now we go up to the second floor and take out all the weapons that we have. Be ready, Mikey. Wait, Mikey, keep an eye on him for now so he doesn't run away. Yes, I heard you, JJ. I'll be on the lookout. Take these weapons. Now we go out onto the balcony and destroy it. Now I will take revenge on this monster and show him what it means to steal me, JJ. He has now grown twice as big. Are we finished? Hey, he's gotten so big, we'll now need to use twice as much power, Mikey. Be charged. Yes, I'm already at full power. We must destroy him so that he no longer interferes with our and other cities. Yes, you're right, Mikey. Here you go. Now he will know what it is like to hunt people, by the way. It seems to me that we almost exterminated him. The last bullet's left and he is defeated. All right, Mikey, listen up. We've reached the heart of the beast's territory. From here on out, every move counts. Stay right beside me, and for the love of all that's good, keep those footsteps silent. We're like shadows in the night, slipping through undetected. One wrong sound, Hey, JJ, we did it with you. Now we are heroes of the city and the whole country. Yes, let's take a closer look at what he looks like. Yes, I'm proud of us. Now it seems to us that all we have to do is report this to the police and everything will be fine. Absolutely, Mikey. We showed that monster who's boss. The city owes us big time. Next, well, the possibilities are endless. So you guys are great. You did all the work that the police should do. We are proud of you. Now you are standing in the alley of our city, and we will take this monster to another prison, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Yes, we are very pleased. Good luck and goodbye, policeman. Yeah, JJ, we did it! We're the heroes of the city now! What are we gonna do? Now, Mikey, we are in complete peace and can move on with our lives. Let's celebrate this and eat a birthday cake in the evening, okay? Maybe we'll take a victory lap around town, basking in the glory of our triumph. Or perhaps we'll treat ourselves to a well-deserved feast at the do Yes, then it seems it's time to say goodbye. Subscribe to the channel, like and write a comment. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Oh, no. What kind of creature is Mikey? Why is it chasing us? Oh, no. Let's get in the house fast. I don't know why it's chasing us. I'd like to find out. What are we going to do, JJ? I don't know. Let's go to the second floor of the house. I think we'll be safer there. We'll get our bearings. So hurry up. We're on the second floor. Let's go to our room. We'll think about it. I think it'll be easier to hide there. The creature only has two legs. It'll have a hard time moving up the stairs. Yes, then we'll just wait for it quietly. Oh no, I think I hear him. Oh no, he's here. Goodbye, Mikey. That's it, we're screwed. Oh, where am I? I just woke up and something feels off. Mikey's missing. Oh no, my Mikey's been stolen. I frantically search every corner of the house, calling out his name. He's not here. What am I going to do now? Desperation grips me. I need help. I should go to the police. But who, or what, could have taken him? Those strange creatures we've heard about come to mind. I'm really curious and scared to find out. Grabbing my keys, I rush to the police station, determined to find Mikey and bring him back home. Without wasting another moment, I head to the police station. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go to the police. So let's hurry. I gotta save Mikey soon. So let's go to the police. We'll look for Mikey. Here we are at the police station. Let's go in. 
Good morning, policeman. I have news for you. What's the news? We were watching the news on TV this morning, and they showed an unknown creature. And then this unknown creature that inspired fear broke into our house out of nowhere and kidnapped Mikey. Please help in any way you can. Ooh, a difficult situation. Let me then give you two cameras, install them in the city, and see if there is anything suspicious. Good cop! I'll install them today and let you know the news tomorrow. Okay, then good luck to you. Simple, right? But then reality hits. I have no clue where to put it. The pressure's on. The safety of the area might just depend on my decision. So, there I am, strolling around, scanning every nook and cranny for the perfect spot. Should it be tucked away? I've got a plan to put a camera on it so it can see everything, so we'll put the camera in a tree. That's it! And if the creature drives by my house or any house, we'll know instantly. So we'll see you next day. Good morning, everyone. One day has passed. Now let's look at the cameras we have there. It's such a pity that Mikey isn't here. It's kind of boring without him. So, okay, let's go down and look at our materials. It seems like nothing suspicious happened on the street. Mmm. Strange? Oh, here he comes. Did you immediately see with one camera what he was doing? It's just worth it. But no, there he is gradually walking towards this house. The main thing is that its resident does not come out to him, please. Otherwise, he will eat you. No, resident, please don't come out. He will eat you. No! Mr. Resident, eh, now it will be difficult without him. So where will he go next? I hope not to my house, please. He stands again and thinks, after this, I wonder how it will be possible to find his house. Oh no, he's almost at my house. Please, the unknown creature should not come near my house. Wait, if he had gone now, then I wouldn't be here now. Phew, he changed his mind. That gives me peace of mind. So now what will he do? We will need to stop him before he does anything terrible in our city. And no, he's heading towards my house. Oh no, not again. Please, not in our house. He tried to look in our house again. He must have been looking for me. I'm so scared now. So guys, I've seen everything I need to see on camera. And I think that's enough. Now I guess my mission is to save Mikey. Let's get to it. First, I have some invisible armor on the second floor. Let's put it on. You can see me, but other people won't see me most likely. So let's go outside. I've got this invisible armor stashed away on the second floor. It's like my secret weapon, a cloak of invisibility. You can see me just fine, but to anyone else, I might as well be a ghost. Well, 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 what do we have here? A trail of ketchup snaking its way along the ground. Now, ordinarily, I'd be questioning how ketchup ended up outside, but in this case, I'm thinking it's more than just a condiment mishap. No, this feels like a clue, a breadcrumb leading straight to Mikey's robber. So, without hesitation, I'm following this ketchup trail like a detective hot on the heels of a suspect. Each splatter and smear tells a story, guiding me closer to my goal. Mikey's out there somewhere, and wherever this ketchup leads, I'm sure to find him. Here I am at his house. The main task now is to quickly get into his house and find Mikey there and get him out. I hope we can do it. Let's make our way so quietly. If he sees me, he will put me here too. It's so dark and scary here. Hooray, Mikey, I see you. Hello, I was so worried about you. We're leaving now. Whew, I'm glad you found me, JJ. Now we'll go home, JJ. This creature locked me here and I don't eat or drink anything here. Yes, now we need to get out of here without him noticing JJ. He's very sensitive. So now let's leave quickly because I have a feeling that he's going to wake up right now. Yeah, I have the same feeling. So let's get to the exit. Finally to freedom for you. Oh no, Mikey, I have bad news for you. He woke up. Now run quickly, AA. Run. What are we going to do now, JJ? Will he catch up with us? Or where are we running anyway? I don't know. But it seems that we will go to the house because he still has nowhere to escape. I have weapons in the chest at home. And with the help of these weapons, we will finally get rid of him, Mikey. We are almost at Mikey's house. We just need to run a little and we are already in the house. <laughs> Now we go up to the second floor and take out all the weapons that we have. Be ready, Mikey. Wait, Mikey, keep an eye on him for now so he doesn't run away. Yes, I heard you, JJ. I'll be on the lookout. Take these weapons. Now we go out onto the balcony and destroy it. Now I will take revenge on this monster and show him what it means to steal me, JJ. He has now grown twice as big. Are we finished? Hey, he's gotten so big, we'll now need to use twice as much power, Mikey. Be charged. Yes, I'm already at full power. We must destroy him so that he no longer interferes with our and other cities. 
Yes, you're right, Mikey. Here you go. Now he will know what it is like to hunt people, by the way. It seems to me that we almost exterminated him. The last bullet's left and he is defeated. All right, Mikey. Listen up. We've reached the heart of the beast's territory. From here on out, every move counts. Stay right beside me, and for the love of all that's good, keep those footsteps silent. We're like shadows in the night, slipping through undetected. One wrong sound, and- Hooray, JJ, we did it with you. Now we are heroes of the city and the whole country. Yes, let's take a closer look at what he looks like. Yes, I'm proud of us. Now it seems to us that all we have to do is report this to the police and everything will be fine. Absolutely, Mikey. We showed that monster who's boss. The city owes us big time. Next, well, the possibilities are endless. So you guys are great. You did all the work that the police should do. We are proud of you. Now you are standing in the alley of our city and we will take this monster to another prison so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Yes, we are very pleased. Good luck and goodbye, policemen. Yeah, JJ, we did it. We're the heroes of the city now. What are we gonna do? Now, Mikey, we are in complete peace and can move on with our lives. Let's celebrate this and eat a birthday cake in the evening, okay? Maybe we'll take a victory lap around town, basking in the glory of our triumph. Or perhaps we'll treat ourselves to a well-deserved feast at the... Yes, then it seems it's time to say goodbye. Subscribe to the channel, like and write a comment. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Oh no! What kind of creature is Mikey? Why is it chasing us? Oh no! Let's get in the house fast! I don't know why it's chasing us. I'd like to find out. What are we gonna do, JJ? I don't know. Let's go to the second floor of the house. I think we'll be safer there. We'll get our bearings. So hurry up. We're on the second floor. Let's go to our room. We'll think about it. I think it'll be easier to hide there. The creature only has two legs. It'll have a hard time moving up the stairs. Yes, then we'll just wait for it quietly. Oh no, I think I hear him. Oh no, he's here. Goodbye, Mikey. That's it. We're screwed. <laughs> oh, ha ha. You know, I've never really thought about it like that before. But now that you mention it, there's something kind of epic about the idea, isn't there? I mean, sure, it's not your typical fairy tale castle, but there's a certain rugged charm to the notion of carving out our own little kingdom beneath the earth. And hey, if it means we can provide safety and security for ourselves and others in the midst of all this chaos, then count me in. Plus, who wouldn't want to be the king of their own underground domain, right? Haha. <laughs> Let's do this. Absolutely. Building a kingdom underground sounds like an adventure of epic proportions. Just imagine the possibilities. Fortified walls, secret passages, and a community thriving in the depths. It's a chance to create something truly unique and resilient. A haven that can withstand whatever challenges come our way. Plus, the idea of being rulers of our own subterranean realm has a certain appeal, don't you think? Let's embrace the challenge and make our bunker kingdom a reality. Haha. <laughs> yes, very well said. In the meantime, we've already spruced up half the kingdom. And now we're building land around the building so we can hatch some plants. Haha. <laughs> And now, as we set our sights on expanding the land around the building to create space for our garden, we're venturing into an exciting new phase of our journey. The thought of cultivating a thriving oasis beneath the Earth's surface fills me with anticipation and excitement. It's not just about planting seeds, it's about nurturing a sense of renewal and resilience in our underground refuge. Yeah, I'd like that too, but not in a bunker. And don't forget, we're doing this against zombies. And I think we can fit some people in here, right, JJ? While the idea of creating a sanctuary in a bunker is intriguing, I agree that it might not be the most ideal setting. And you're right. Amidst the ongoing zombie threat, safety is paramount. However, if we can fortify our underground refuge effectively, we might indeed be able to accommodate some additional survivors. It's all about finding the right balance between security and sustainability. Let's keep brainstorming and strategizing to ensure that we can offer refuge to as many people as possible while keeping everyone safe from the undead menace. Sure! I think it'll hold the entire town, haha. <laughs> In the meantime, let's keep building our kingdom from the zombies. Our underground fortress has the potential to become a haven for the entire town. With our ongoing efforts to fortify and expand, we're not only creating a safe refuge from the zombies, but also, laying- And by the way, 
as we speak, we are completely finished with our construction. Ha-ha! It went so smooth and cool! I'm so happy about it! Yay? Yeah, I'm filling up the trunk with shells now, so we can start something else! Ha! Phew. It's our time, Mikey. I think we should turn on the radio before we go outside. Whether there's a zombie wave or not. Yeah, come on, turn it up fast! Ladies and gentlemen, it's national radio. We've got like a fifth zombie wave in town, so brace yourselves and stay home. No! The fifth wave of zombies is outside, so let's take everything we have in the chest, all the armor gear, etc., and go out and fight those zombie bastards. Because we have to save the city. Who else but us, huh? Mikey? Yeah, I totally agree with you. Come on, dump me all the armor and gear you got, and let's get out there fast! Because right now, those zombies could swarm the whole town! Alright, let's go outside, quick! I'm all set! So let's go outside and see what's going on! If Momo's even here! Oh, uh-oh, I think I have some bad news! A big Momo has come to our village! That means he's five times stronger than the last one! So let's call him Mikey! And I came here myself! I heard what you said! So it's okay, I'm here! I'm wearing my very good armor, so let's go! We don't need him in the village, we have to get rid of him, so let's go on the attack! Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination. But we all knew what had to be done. We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find. Pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much. But it was all we had. And yay! We did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely. So I think we're good. Yahoo! Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%. So good for us. We got one danger out of town. And look at the sky, too. It's cleaner now that we got rid of that monster. Now I think all the townsfolk and villagers are happy with us. Because we took away their fears for their family and kids, etc and take out all the weapons that we have. Be ready, Mikey. Wait, Mikey, keep an eye on him for now so he doesn't run away. Yes, I heard you, JJ. I'll be on the lookout. Take these weapons. Now we go out onto the balcony and destroy it. Now I will take revenge on this monster and show him what it means to steal me, JJ. He has now grown twice as big. Are we finished? Hey, he's gotten so big, we'll now need to use twice as much power, Mikey. Be charged. Yes. I'm already at full power. We must destroy him so that he no longer interferes with our and other cities. Yes, you're right, Mikey. Here you go. Now he will know what it is like to hunt people, by the way. It seems to me that we almost exterminated him. The last bullet's left and he is defeated. All right, Mikey. Listen up. We've reached the heart of the beast's territory. From here on out, every move counts. Stay right beside me, and for the love of all that's good, Keep those footsteps silent. We're like shadows in the night, slipping through undetected. One wrong sound, and- Hooray, JJ, we did it with you. Now we are heroes of the city and the whole country. Yes, let's take a closer look at what he looks like. Yes, I'm proud of us. Now it seems to us that all we have to do is report this to the police and everything will be fine. Absolutely, Mikey. We showed that monster who's boss. The city owes us big time. Next, well, the possibilities are endless. So you guys are great. You did all the work that the police should do. We are proud of you. Now you are standing in the alley of our city, and we will take this monster to another prison, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Yes, we are very pleased. Good luck and goodbye, policemen. Yeah, JJ, we did it. We're the heroes of the city now. What are we gonna do? Now, Mikey, we are in complete peace and can move on with our lives. Let's celebrate this and eat a birthday cake in the evening, okay? Maybe we'll take a victory lap around town, basking in the glory of our triumph. Or perhaps we'll treat ourselves to a well-deserved feast at the do Yes, then it seems it's time to say goodbye. Subscribe to the channel, like and write a comment. Bye, everyone. See you soon. <sighs> oh, good morning, Mikey. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, too. 
By the way, let's go to the first floor because I think our families have prepared some very tasty meals for us. Then if it's real, let's go to the kitchen. Let's see what they're cooking for us. Oh, hello. My family and Mikey's family. I see you've put together quite a feast for us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're our favorite husbands. We love you so much. Oh, that was so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, JJ, this milkshake is incredible. I've never tasted anything so delicious. Right? This burger is like a flavor explosion in my mouth. And don't even get me started on these fries. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Perfection! Oh, JJ, I think someone's calling us. Why don't we check it out? Hmm, who could be calling us? We're on vacation with our family. Hello? Uh, hello? Who is this? Okay, this is getting weird. Mikey, do you have any idea what's going on? No clue. JJ sounds like some kind of prank call or maybe interference on the line. Uh, Mikey, I think we might have a problem. What do you mean? That thing on the phone, it's here. <laughs> JJ, wake up, man! Something's not right. Our families, they're gone! What? What do you mean, gone? Where could they have gone? I can't find them anywhere. It's like they vanished into thin air. I think that creature took them, JJ! We have to find them before it's too late. Gone? But... But where could they have gone? Did they say anything before they disappeared? Nothing, JJ. Hold on, Mikey. What's this? Wait, what's this? Oh, no. This is bad, really bad. We can't just stand here, Mikey. We have to act, but... But what can we do? We'll find a way, JJ. We have to. Our families are counting on us. We won't let that thing hurt them. With a newfound sense of determination, Mikey and I hastily gather our gear and head outside. The night air is tense with anticipation as we set up the camera, strategically positioning it to capture any movement or activity in the area. This is our last chance to gather clues, to uncover the truth behind the disappearance of our families. As we secure the camera in place, I can't shake the feeling of unease gnawing at my gut. What if we're too late? What if whatever took our family's returns before we can uncover its identity? But we push those thoughts aside, focusing instead on the task at hand. With the camera in position, we retreat to a safe distance, our eyes fixed on the lens, willing it to capture something, anything, that might lead us closer to the answers we seek. The night stretches on, each passing moment feeling like an eternity as we wait for dawn to break. And I think we did it! So the camera's out of place. And we wait till the next day. See you all tomorrow. Oh, good morning, Mikey. I think it's time. It's the second day our family's been missing. So I think we should check the cameras. So let's go, Mikey, shall we? Yeah, absolutely. Because I think there's nothing more important than family. And we can all agree on that. So let's get the cameras rolling. You're absolutely right, Mikey. Family is everything, and when they're in danger, there's nothing we won't do to protect them. So let's get those cameras rolling. Let's leave no stone unturned in our quest to find them. Together, we'll face whatever challenges come our way, because nothing is more important. I'm excited All right. too, JJ, so let's hurry up and watch the camera. Here we are. We're looking at a nerd. Oh no, here comes the creature. To say we're lucky is an understatement. Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh no, not to Mr. Nerd. He's just a rookie. Why touch him? Oh no, he took that nub. What are we gonna do, JJ? He's gonna eat that nub, oh no. Don't worry, it's just right for us. We're gonna get that $250,000. We're gonna get it, and we're gonna get the Nubian too. So we didn't set up the camera for nothing. Now that we've seen this clip from the camera, I think we've got it all figured out. We've got to chase this thing down as best we can. So let's go get ready first. Wow, how are we gonna prepare for it? It's gonna be really strong. I don't think so and we'll prepare to the best of our ability. Here we have armor and a sword. These are very powerful armors that will protect us from anyone who wants to hurt us. So put them on and don't be afraid. We'll still save the nubile and we'll win $250,000. Wow, okay, what's the next plan after that? Next plan? We're just gonna go outside and look for his trail. We're gonna follow his trail. You saw the camera where he turned around in front of our house, so we're gonna turn around there too and we're gonna find him and we're gonna follow his trail. All right, I got it. This is where we passed the last time. Very interesting, hmm. And look, look here quickly. I found ketchup. I think this is the trail of this unknown creature. Let's follow the trail. Yeah, let's follow these tracks and they'll lead us to him. 
and we'll turn him into the police, and we'll get our winnings, and we'll save the nub like I said. Isn't that cool, Mikey? Yeah, very cool. We'll find trail after trail. I think we're almost to his house. Absolutely, JJ. We'll track down.